aerosols affect our health? What is remote sensing? Name and describe the two types of remote sensing and give examples of each. How are aerosols in the atmosphere measured? Studying the atmosphere is a fairly new science. In the Chemistry and Dynamics branch of NASA Langley Research Center, atmospheric scientists are trying to determine how many aerosols there are and where they are in the atmosphere. Now these aerosols are important because they affect our health. Small aerosols can enter our lungs as we breathe polluted air. These aerosols can be deposited deep in our lungs, blocking the lungs' ability to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Over time, this makes it hard to breathe. Here at NASA Langley, we measure aerosols using a technique called remote sensing. What is remote sensing? Remote sensing is collecting information about an object without physically touching the object. It's learning without touching. The most familiar kind of remote sensing is the use of our eyes to detect a distant object. We also learn without touching when we hear. For example, when a car beeps its horn, we hear it from a distance and sense we're in danger. Get out of the street! You know, there are two types of remote sensing, active and passive. An early example of passive remote sensing involved the use of a camera. In 1858, the first aerial photograph of land was taken from a balloon floating over Paris, France. This is called passive because the camera uses only the light from the sun to record the image on film. On the other hand, active remote sensing uses its own light source. Put a flash on the camera and you've made it active because the light from the flash reflects off the distant object being photographed. Using active remote sensing, you can take pictures whenever you want because you don't have to depend on the sun to give you light. 